Hey guys, and um, welcome to this first video tutorial on the series of tutorials I'm going to do uh, about um, model related things like um, QC commands, um, editing QCs, uh, fixing weapon mo positions, which I will be doing on this tutorial, basic QC stuff, which I will also be doing on this tutorial. We'll also be discussing head hacking. Um, adding custom NPCs to the source engine um, and uh, more stuff which I can't come up with at the moment so first of all QC commands I made this small document which will also be included on the Facebook thread about how to um, modify QC so first of all let's start with um, CD as you can see here. CD is the directory where everything in the model is located. So um, in your QC it would look like CD and then the path of the folder where all your stuff is located. Next up is model name. It's the name of the model you will find when you spawn it or anything else you want to do with it. Um, Next up is model, which is, um, well, basically the reference. And this name, which is just a name, you uh, identical na name mostly. Um, CD materials, where your materials are located in your Gary's mod folder. Hitboxes, I will dis be discussing this later. Um, model uses material. Now this one's important because you have to tell the model which VMTs it uses from the CD directory. Well, surface prop, which is, um, yeah, what, if you shoot the prop or walk on it, it will emit a certain sound. Th to define which sound it is, you need to do your correct type of surface prop. Uh, Elon position isn't very important, just where the light, where the model receives the light. Sequence is also quite important. It's um, for animations of the model. So, for example, if you have fire animation, it will do sequence um, animation name and name and um, amount of frames, I believe. No, no then uh, which act, so for example act VM at primary attack or fire and then the, how fast it goes, the frame rate next of all, next and last for now is the collision model there's also collision joints but today we'll be focusing on the collision model a lot of this um, can be found on the Valve developers wiki it can um, it could basically only be collision model, fin model, and then mask 20, but I mostly add some more of that stuff. Everything you need to know is in the Valve Developers Wiki. So, um, now to part 2, which is fixing world models. Um, this is actually much, much easier than most people think. Is, think. We'll also be um, explaining some of the basics of um, model knowledge. Let's wait for Milkshape to um, start up. You can use any program you like, I just like Milkshape because it's very easy. Okay, now let's import. Um, what you want to do is first to decompile uh, existing um, world model, which one, the whole type you want to use. So for example, I'll take the um, AR2. You import the reference. If I That's odd. I'm missing a reference. Okay. Let's do the shotgun instead. Yeah, there we go. Shotgun reference. Import everything, bones, etc. And um, next up, we import the model you want to fix. So I'll be using a shotgun f model I imported from Fallout. Uh -huh. 
Now, yours will most likely be correctly positioned, but mine isn't at the moment, so let me do that. Okay, now for the tilt. I don't know why this is with a shotgun. It isn't with any other models, but oh well. And let's see, trigger, trigger. Now, what you need to know about um, some basic model knowledge is what the bones are um, for this tutorial. So, bones are basically what um, controls the model. It's used for mainly animations, but as you can see, it all can also be used for positioning stuff. So, um, yeah, let's see. Bones. Um, most of the valve things are called um, valve biped weapon bone but you can call them almost anything you want except with this with um, positioning the world model because the source engine knows if that valve biped bip01 r hand is um, assigned to that then they know that has to be positioned like um, how you want it positioned so what we'll be doing first is removing this mesh of the Half-Life 2 shotgun, selecting the joint, select, selecting our mesh, and pressing assign. That's all there's to it. So if I go into animation mode now and I select this bone, the bone will control the mesh. And then you just export it, which I already did, um, modify the QC if needed, uh, I'll take an example of that of the previous one I did myself. Hmm, if oh, I know it's located in here. All I did was change the... Um, I think I only changed the name, yeah, I just changed the name. So you won't have to hex it or anything, you, the name it will just um, be as you want it to be. Anyway, that pretty much rounds it up with, with what I want to tell. Oh yeah, one important thing I th forgot about... Um, you see explaining is attachments. Attachments are pretty pretty very important. For example, with um, if you put, redo the uh, world model, you'll see that in the QC it has attachment, muzzle and then a bone. This the attachment tells where the muzzle flash has to come from. You can use it for many things. Uh, for example, the CSS models they have attachments all over their body to tell where to put the pistol when holstered, the uh, main weapon, grenades, etc. The C4, so that's mainly what attachments are for. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have use of this tutorial. I know I'm not the clearest person, but use if you have any questions, just post it on the comments or on the Facebook thread. Good luck, and um, if you want to stay up to date, because there will be more tutorials, please press the subscribe button. Anyway, that's it. See ya.